All right, it's time to hook up our Golang application to our MySQL database. So as you can see here, we're bringing in our SQL package as well as our Font package, and these are Golang core packages. So it's going to find it where it finds all the core packages, which is under the Go root path. Now on the other hand here, we're bringing in a My, MySQL driver, and this one is not a core package, so we have to bring it in. And if we did have it already, it would be under our Go path, under the source folder, github.com, Go SQL driver. As you can see, we don't have that directory here, so we don't have it yet. So if I was to run this, it's not going to be able to find that package. It's not going to be able to bring it in. So obviously, it's not going to find it under Go root because it's not a core package, and it's not going to find it under the Go path because, well, we haven't gone, we haven't gone to get it yet. So we're going to use our go get command, go get it. So we're going to go get it at github go SQL driver slash mysql. That was actually pretty quick. As you can see there, go SQL driver. So there, now we, now we have it and it does exist. Now, this right here, this little underscore says, you know, this is, a, this is like an alias. Um, basically, it says, I am not referencing the MySQL. I don't have anything in my code that says MySQL package dot, you know, whatever the data type or function might be. We're not using that. So if I look for it, I only have it in two spots. And this is, this is just a string literal. This isn't the actual package, you know, kind of like, hey, bump package, you know, get me the print line function in there. So like I said, this is like an alias. Um, for instance, if I want to make an alias for the for fumped, I could, oops, there we go, could replace and just change it everywhere in my code. Come back up here, change this back to FNT. So this would be more common, let's say um, you have a uh, te you have a, a template package inside the text package. You also have a template package in the HTML package. If you wanted to use both those at the same time, you couldn't obviously have them colliding and using the same name. So you could create an alias for it. Or say if I just wanted to have a shorter name, instead of fumped, I just wanted to use the letter F, I could do something like this where it says F, print line, whatever, and it, and it just, you know, it just works. But that's, that's an alias for you. It's like, say, hey, for this package, go ahead, every time you see an F, you know, then hey, then you can access that package using this alias. Or it could be a longer name. It could be whatever you want to make it. In this case, it's saying, hey, don't look through my code. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to look through my code and say, hey, I don't see you using this package. I don't see the MySQL uh, package being referenced anywhere in your code here and it would think it was an error. It's just saying, hey, I do need this driver, but you're not going to see it inside of this main.go file. You're going to find it somewhere else. And we're going to get to that here in just a second. So first one we're going to look at is inside the SQL package, we have our open function, and it's going to take a driver name, and it's going to take our data source name, which is just going to be the username, semicolon, password. We're going to have our protocol, and then our address is going to be our host and our port, and of course, our database name. So if we look at the SQL open, here we go, SQL.open, driver name and data source, it's going to return a type DB, SQL, or pointer to SQL.DB. If we look at that, oh, there it is. It's just a struct, but more importantly, if we look at that struct, that DB struct, we have two functions that return that, D, that pointer to that DB data type, but we have many different methods that we can utilize with that particular struct. So um, 
DB is just going to hold all these, you know, has access to all these different methods of which we're going to use. And if we look at, oh, hold on, let's go back to open. And it's going to take a driver name. So opens a specif opens a data database specified by the database driver name and driver specific data uh, data source name, usually consisting at least database name and connection. Um, it says no database drivers are included in the Go standard library. So if we go to here, we can find that third party uh, list of drivers. Here we go. As you can see. You can use many different drivers to connect, you know, between your database and whatever you're using. So the one that we are using is the MySQL Go SQL driver slash MySQL. Ours is right here. So SQL open is going to run, um, and in running that, should have kept that open. So in running that, let's go ahead and look inside there. We're going to need that driver name, and that's going to be inside of a map that's created. So in creating that map, it needs to know it needs um, it needs this right here. So MySQL is getting used. But we're just not referencing in this file. It's just when we want to run something like SQL open, it does reference it. So it still needs that driver, even though I'm not using a main.go file, but in running this SQL open function, it is using it inside the SQL package. Um, anyway, if we uh, continue, um, we're going to go ahead and return our database struct and our error. And we're going to check and see if it is nil. If not, we're going to say, hey, we had an issue with it. We're going to panic. For the error. Now, uh, one thing to be aware of, um, this is going to validate the arguments. Um, it's not actually going to create a connection to the database. So I could actually run a query, or if I don't want to run a real query, I need to run the method ping to make sure, like, hey, we had a successful connection. So let's, uh, we went and got our driver. There we go. So we ran ping. So we confirmed that we did create a connection and we did not have an error because if it had to have been nil, if it wasn't nil, we would have got the error back. Um, let's go ahead and actually add something to our database. So, so again, we're going to use another, another method. And the db.query method, it's going to take our string and it's going to take an argument of interfaces. Now we're just passing in, we don't actually have to add one of those. We're just passing in our query string at this time. So we're going to insert into test, test db as our database, students uh, table and fields ID, first name, last name with the values of two, Ben, and Ford. So let's go back. Look at this. Just to confirm, when I run this query, select all from uh, database test DB uh, students table. We just have one entry so far. So we're going to go ahead and run this and see if it inserts it into our database. Now it's going to return, you know, our error as well as our as well as our variable that holds our rows. And then we're going to go ahead. So it's going to run that query. It's going to return rows if it's uh, returning any. Um, in this case, it's not. Um, and then finally, yeah, we got to make sure that we close this. So we're going to defer and then close it at the end. So let's see if this goes, goes ahead and enters it. There we go. It's like we had a successful connection. And I'm going to go ahead and run my selects uh, query. 
and there we go we entered something into our database so just to double confirm our connection was good so in short just remember this is an alias you got to go make sure you use the go get command to get this drive get this driver um, we're just throwing it away as an alias because we're not referencing it in the main.go file um, you know open we need of course our driver name our data source name and then eventually we can use that struct with all the methods on it to do a bunch of different operations obviously close it you know when the application's done we use it to ping our server um, and we can use it to run queries as well as some other methods so uh, hope it was helpful if you like the video uh, like and subscribe but i'll see you in the next one